Good morning, friends. I'm Pastor Corby Johnson, and I'm the pastor at the United Methodist Church in Safford, Arizona. And it is a beautiful, crisp morning this morning. It's about 70 degrees, and the sky is blue, and oh, what a beautiful day it's going to be. I hope wherever you are, you find the beauty surrounding you in creation. Today is Wednesday, December 1st, 2021. We're starting Advent this week, and it is an exciting time to think about the promises of God and the reality that God has given us. Today we're on Proverbs 28, verse 9. If anyone turns a deaf ear to my instruction, even their prayers will be detestable. If anyone turns a deaf ear to my instruction, even their prayers are detestable. This is the word of God for the people of God. Well, this is an interesting piece, isn't it? I remember playing ignore when we were kids, and if I was it, I would jump around and make silly noises and try to get my friends to pay attention to me and laugh. It, it wasn't hard for me to do until it was my turn not to laugh. <laughs> but there was this one girl who played with us. She would win every time. She just wouldn't laugh. She thought of other things and sung inside of her head and blurred her visions secret she told me years later, but didn't matter how much I tried, I would end up giggling and having fun. As an activity, though, in this piece, it reminds us that we do not want to be playing games with God. If anyone turns a deaf ear to my instructions, even their prayers are detestable. Turning a deaf ear to God's voice, ignoring directions specific to our lives, or ignoring praises when God blesses us for a job well done, good and faithful servant. It is to our detriment if we don't listen for that beautiful voice of God and that guiding direction. And you know, I always think about um, people who think God is a stern God and an angry God and the God that tells you what to do and you can have no fun if you're a Christian. That's just not so. God gave us the gift of laughter. God gave us the desire to please others and to enjoy this life. As an action, I think it's easy to go an entire day without a reminder of whose we are. In my lifetime, we've gone from playing the streets and having picnics in the front yard with the neighbors, and the neighborhood cleared out on Sunday mornings, everyone went to church or synagogue. I'll tell you what, if we turn a deaf ear to our mother and father, we're in trouble. Our earthly mother and father, we're in trouble. If we turn into a deaf ear to our God, it brings us trouble when we don't hear that voice of guidance, when we don't make sure that all is well with our family and with our morals and with our ethics. My friends, I'm going to encourage you, stay away from temptation today. Can you just for one day, stay away from temptation today and listen to instruction from the Lord. No matter how old you are, it's your job 
It's your desire, I hope, to live life to the fullest, but with parameters. With the parameters. If anyone turns a deaf ear to my instruction, even their prayers are detestable. Listen to that inner voice, that feel that inner feeling, and if you feel like your ears have become deaf and you're just on autopilot, go back to the Lord and pray that God will take this from you and you will live with peace and joy once again. Thank you for joining me, friends. I will see you tomorrow. God's blessings.